If you're looking for a hotbed of life along any river shore, you might start by looking below your feet. This part of the environment that I'm standing on here, um, at least below me, is referred to as the hyperreic zone. And that's where river water mixes with groundwater. And that can extend from a, a foot to even hundreds and hundreds of feet inland. And in that zone, there's a great deal of life. There's, in particular, a lot of microorganisms that are attached to the sediments and the rocks down there. You may not be able to see these microscopic creatures, but they make up 95% of the biological activity in a river system. Researchers at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory found that special conditions along the river spur these microorganisms to action. As the water goes up and down, as the river goes up and down, that enhances the mixing of those groundwaters with surface waters. And when that happens, that actually stimulates the activity of the organisms living in these sediments can really impact the cycling of nutrients and carbon through the environment and can impact the fluxes of greenhouse gases into and out of the system. The microbes help cleanse water, but also impact climate change, which is why scientists want to know exactly how these systems work. Those are really the linchpin that govern the movement of carbon through systems, and they strongly determine whether carbon stays in sediments or soils, or if it goes back to the atmosphere. So if the carbon can stay in the sediments, that can actually help with climate change. It can slow it down. Whereas if that carbon moves into the atmosphere, that actually exacerbates or can speed up climate change.